Call of Porcupine. Last time we have been getting into the night shift, there was a leak, a major leak, a literal leak, water leak from the hospital. And then we, need, we have been trying to handle that thing. After that, we are going to the. Uh, they're going. What was it again? Um, oh yeah, we are going to. We were. We went to the mountain for a graveyard visit. Quotation mark. With wearing our. <laughs> What's it again? Wearing our uh, hospital outfit actually. <laughs> yeah, that's that. And today actually there is a thunderstorm run, uh, going on, so we are going to start with a thunderstorm going. That's it. Anyway, if there is any audio problem, please tell me in the chat. About new game, this is the new game I have been playing for a while. So I want to try finishing it since I think it won't be too long. I hope. Perhaps I don't know. I, I haven't even checked it yet, but yeah, that's it. Anyway, let's just start. Let's go. <clears throat> the story will start around the midnight when the sun the thunderstorm is going on. Oh yeah. Uh heads up, uh you might even uh, occasionally hear a beeping sound that is actually my electric bill so just ignore it for now <clears throat> huh? hello finley you're awake please come quickly i need help Fina. <clears throat> what what's wrong finley please come to the store quick i Fina. Tina, are you there? Oh no, I better get over there and check on her. Oh boy, she's in the middle of the night. In a thunderstorm. Can I check anything? I don't think so. Let's just go straight to them. Are we going to them to Pina with our pajamas? I don't know. Oh no, actually not. Oh boy. It's a really harsh thunderstorm. Anyway, I wait what oh what? What happened? Oh. Okay. That was something. Oh, it's a shortcut. Look at that. The the lamp. It's broken. From the thunderstorm. Oh boy. It really is a bad rain. You got that track? Oh my god. This is terrible. The car is upside down. It really is. Seriously? Did you just... What's going on here? Was that Tina? Uh, okay. What's going on here? Oh boy. What the heck is that? Infinite's plan. Wait. Don't tell me. It is actually... In our dream, looking at how all of this. Tina? It can't be. I just can't be. It just can't be. Uh, just in case you don't know, this thing is a. Uh, What's it again? Uh, a, 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 a doll, some kind of doll that represent dead people in this town. So like every time people die in this town, they actually have a ritual to make some kind of pistol and then put it on the mountain. 
So that means uh, all of this thing, some, some, someone, something gone. Wait, where do I go? Should I go back? Wait, uh, I just realized that the watering can is filled with blood. I bet this is just our dream. Yeah. Look at that, the the doll. It's increasing. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? Carl! Everyone. Where are you? Why am I alone? I hope you're all okay. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What am I going to do with you, Tinny? If you carry on like this, I don't see a future for you. If you carry on like this, you don't see a future for a lot of people. If you take care of it yet, take care of what? I can't keep repeating myself. And I can't keep holding your hand all the time. People are going to die, Finley. Oh, the rainstorm is getting stronger. It will be all your fault. But... Go to work. Your shift is about to begin. I'll hurry. And I will work hard. Chop chop. What happened here? And the... Uh, the door have some kind of uh, notes on them oh so this is actually a time tra uh, time uh, transfer it's a kind of fake why is this underwater why is this underwater This is fine, kind of scary. So basically, it's uh, the event is kind of time. So I have limited time to actually transport it to another map after I triggered some event, something like that, I think. time again. Nobody ever listened to old Krieger. But Krieger is the one who had to do it every time. What are you doing? There's no point, Krieger. 
Leave it. The beautiful place, place is there. The whole place is about to fall apart. The pipes, the walls, the electrics, the pipes, the walls, the electrics, the elevators, the patients. There is nothing old Gregor can't fix. We can handle this. Gregor, stop. The patients. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, you're going to be the bar, Gregor. And then we woke up from our dream. Right. <laughs> Wait, where's our plan? Where's our... Oh my god. And this is the first arc. Oh my god. Oh no. The plan didn't make it. I'm sorry, my friend. I should have taken you all on the window still. But Pina will let me play another. I'd better clean your way. It wouldn't be right to leave you lying here all day. Besides, I'm not sure what thing soil and orchid floor are the best friend. All done. If it's empty without the flower. Where's our... Uh... Oh, there has been a stormy night. I hope everything is alright. It wouldn't be the first time my basement has been flooded. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Oh, it's still there. The ball is still there. Are there any achievements for that thing? For playing the ball? Go there. Oh boy, it really is bad storm. The window is headed. How did that happen? I think a branch broke off and hit the window. I better get a broom. Everything's messy from the storm. Circle too? What? The circle? Forget about it. We don't know about no circle. We're just standing here to shelter from the rain. You should leave now. Is this some kind of call? I think it's some kind of call. You there? Hello? Hey, Fro. You're still sad out here? In this weather? There's no such thing as bad weather. The end of all, the end of fall is often gray and muddy here. In many countries of the world, water falling from the sky is a cause of celebration. But like so many things, this weather has its downside. You're right there. It's cold and wet. Oh no, that's not what I meant. But I did lose my breakfast this morning, flown into the river. 
I was very much looking forward to my tomato sandwich. I'm sorry. I'm afraid, I'm afraid I didn't bring any breakfast with me either. That's alright. Things come simple. No point crying over a soggy tomato sandwich. I'll just make two tomorrow instead. And I'll sit by the river. Like I do every day. With two delicious tomato sandwich in my pack. Early retirement has its perks. Apart from the money, of course. But sitting by the river doesn't cost anything. Tell me, Finley. What drove you to your river? Your stream of Asia? Helping. It feels good to help. When the people around you feel better, you feel better too? Exactly. And when, you, and when you feel better, you find it easier to make them feel better. Yeah, I guess so. I think I shouldn't let people let things or people get to me or too much. Even Dr. Kurkowski. Is that what you think? Yeah, thanks for playing. Wow, stream of consciousness. <coughs> stream of consciousness. I know how the storytelling making me think this is actually from the same thing like the like in the woods in some way or another. The quirky character main character the uh run down town the weird things happening around them nice little breeze last night huh you could say that the storm threw me blah, the storm threw my window right open give me a good scare took my husband out too unfortunately oh i'm sorry to hear that but I'm glad it wasn't any worse. They were pumping water out some false basement this morning. And St. Ursula's... Home key... What? What about it? Haven't you heard? Half of the, half of the hospital was swept away by the rain and wind last night. Oh my god. Made a heck out of a racket apparently. Of the hospital, you say? Oh, at least. <coughs> so if I go over, go over here now, only fifty percent of it will still be standing. All right, maybe it's not quite that bad. But something happened. I know that for sure. Really? What? No idea. Just rumor. Just rumor I had in my rounds. Haven't seen it for myself yet. I better hurry up then. I hope it's not too bad. Yeah, I hope so too. Since knowing how our dream happened last night <coughs> doesn't look any good in any way. Hey yo, all of you. It's good to see you. Oh, <laughs> you found your head. I was worried about some. Well, something had happened to you. There was some storm, huh? You're telling me, woke me right up when a branch hit me in the face. I don't even get me start on my shots. I've only got one dry pair left. Had to hang the rest of the over of fans to dry off. At least you're okay. That's the main thing. I've had worse night. I've got a bit of sore throat, but I'm about to treat myself to a hot coffee. Besides, I've had the sound of the rain soothing. Be careful not to catch a cold, okay? You got it. I'm guessing you're off to work. Ah, oh, I'm sure the bus will turn up soon. No, I just walk. It's got a room, especially <coughs> when you don't know when you're going to dry off again. Don't scare me like that. Okay. I'm just waiting for the pump. 
My basement flooded last night. All my winter clothes have been worn in there. <laughs> They're all ruined now. But I'm glad everything else survived intact. Well, good to hear that. <clears throat> I want to go around the town. So it might take a while. Yo, I really love rain. It's nice and cold. And wet. It doesn't taste nice though. But it's great to play in. And you know what's even better? When it rains, it makes puddles. I love them even more. <clears throat> sure. He loves puddles. Oh, hello, Granny. Quite a little weather from, huh? I'm glad to see you didn't get blown away. The water in Babelstone River hasn't been this high for years. Another cup of inches and it'll burst it banks. Do you know anything about Babelstone River? This will be the perfect day to learn more. Sure, I'm all in. Babelstone River is the reason you and I are standing here today. Crazy, right? How just a little trickle of water can affect the fate of so many leaves. River doesn't just provide porcupine with drinking water. People in the local area used to use it for transport too. Did you know that the pebblestone flows right into the sea? And from there out into the world. The river has always been important for agricultural region too, of course. And do you know why it's called Pebblestone River? It was given that name by people who came here looking for precious treasure. They'd hoped to find silver and gold in the river, but they turned up nothing, nothing but false pebbles. That's because the pebble stones water are the clearest in the world. Trash does end up in it now and then, unfortunately. But aside from that, you won't see the silent hint of a pot. You don't see the slightest hint of pollution in there. Fascinating, isn't it? You've got a lot thanks to this river. Oh, thanks for the history class. Ma'am. Oh, hey, Gilbert. The sign got burned away. Shame. What sign? You know, the Gilbert sign. The old folk one. Must have been real windy last night. Do you know? Do you want me to help you find it? Nah, don't sweat it. It'll turn out. Not the first time it's gone woke up. Give it a couple days, then it'll be hanging back in space. Good awesome news. I hope the ceiling stop leaking in Mars Harrow. Oh yeah, that wasn't great. But you saw the funny side at least. That's more for you. Almost never get angry. But when she does, oh boy, you're on for her heels. I feel like she ain't being totally honest with me right now. Also, she acts like she's going great, but her eyes are different. I wasn't on shift yesterday, but I'll check in on her later. Inflammation of the balloons can be hard on, on a body, especially at her age. But she'll be alright. Right, she's always been alright before. I better get looking for that sign. Could be stuck up a tree, just waiting for me to get down. Happy hunting! So what's going on with the porcupine? Nothing. Okay. Saint Ursula. <laughs> oh, hello. Why am I supposed to get that huge branch down up there? You have a ladder in your truck. Afraid not, 
but I'm heading to town. Maybe I can borrow a letter from Quiliano. Huh. Wait. Why does it feel like you know them already? Nothing's here. Go back to Giuliano for the ladder. Shower, I see. You can't say that again. Well, the love of rain, not that in. Is all your stuff alright? I'm afraid not. Oh, what happened? The plant you gave me. It fell off the window sill last night. I'm sorry. Hmm. Don't worry about it, Finley. It's a shame but about the plant, but of course. But if it's not your fault. All you did was, all you did was give it the best spot in the apartment. You go, know it was going to end up being that so hazardous. You're not mad? No, of course not. In fact, I don't have a suitable plan on at the moment. But if I can, but if I can, I'll let you new one. I promise. Okay. Everything is a bit mess here too after last night. The first thing I'm going to do is get every everything straightened out again. I need to get to the hospital. I hope everything is all back there. Anything? No. Nothing I can check here. But at least I can say hi to Pinya. Throughout the local 
area last night. Strong wind and flying objects have caused significant property damage. There have been isolated cases of minor and moderate injuries. Oh, the hospital might be very crowded now. Full visibility and stability road led to many traffic jams and a number of accidents. Oh dear. This is really bad. Yo. Storms. A garbage disposal sky's worst enemy. You know what storms love to do? More than anything else. Blow over garbage cans. It's already bad enough trying to get people to keep all their recycling separate. We don't need all this as well. Still, I like to look on the bright side. More squats for me. Great for the squat. <laughs> Guess that's another exercise for you. Let's meet the boys behind the school. Hey yo, Mia. Hey Mia. It's not the first time I've bumped into you just out on the street. I think you're right. I wanted to go shopping for work. Besides, I love the air when it rains. It really fires up my sense, you know. Alright. Well, don't let me keep you. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again very soon. Yep. See you soon. So this is your house. Okay. One of them at least. I don't know which one. Mm -hmm. Oh, here you go. The uh, her who is again? Who is again? Larissa, what are you doing here? I thought there was no school today. Sure is it? I'm treasure hunting. Looking for storm treasure. I used to do this with my dad. But he's away right now. You can find great stuff lying around after storm. Cause it throws everything around like crazy. I've already found a blue rubber band and a faking play card. I can't wait to see what else is hiding out here. That sounds cool. Just look out for a falling branch, okay? A good treasure hunter always remember to look out above and below. So you like pressure hunting. The boys. What are the boys doing? <laughs> you. Maggie. There you are again. I had another idea for my comic. Wanna hear? Sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, here we go. The story is set on the distant planet of Arsus. Our brave heroine, Magata, is about to wake up on her, in her bed. It's a beautiful summer morning. It smells like grass, raspberry, and warm air. She hears a noise and opens her window curtain. Suddenly, her bed catches in her throat. And? Um, what comes again next? Shoot, I should have written that down. I already have to take so many notes at school. It's not fun. No problem, I think I know what comes next. Really? What's next? Alright, here goes. She opened her window curtain. And she spot. Super busy eating up every star and let it much much. Oh, what is your heroine going to do about that? She's asking herself the same thing. I mean, she's super smart and strong. But she doesn't have a spaceship and she can't jump her way up into space. But then suddenly, a strange knock at her door. A stranger knock on her door. 
His face is hidden under the hood he's wearing. She opens the door and the guy is like... Magala opens the door and the guy is like... Oh. <clears throat> I am with the Order of Command. A secret society that has been protecting the universe since the beginning of time. Mystical. Yeah. Megata has never heard about it either. But he's like... Oh, you're the chosen one. You need to do something to save Ursus. He gives her like a green lock. Take this runestone, she says. Dive into the depth of the strip ocean and place it into the gate of eternity. Wow. Nagata has no idea how to get down there, but she's a heroine after all. So she takes the stone and travels to the ocean. Why ont? Not an. But how is he going to reach the bottom of the ocean? She's going to find a way. But I don't think it's using a submarine. Oh, I'm done. That was exhausting. It was awesome. So curious about what will happen next. <clears throat> then I'm going to think of more stops. I can't wait. The story is getting interesting, see. <clears throat> How about the guy? Where's the guy? He's not here. Eh, he's not here. Boy, oh boy. Can't really see Maggie here. Where's the tuny guy? Is it because of the rain? first I want to check out this oh. one so oh is this bug oh I think it's bug it's bugging oh no it's still bugging the yeah, of the notice have been blown away some made it through on sketch They've probably been here for so long, they've become part of the notice board. I think it's bugging. Another bug to find. Yo! What are you doing outside in this weather? Not like it's any of your business. But I like the rain. Besides, Anywhere is better than home right now. Don't even ask about that. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Problemo kids. Just being problemo kids. Oh. 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 It 
does look bad. Those are some hefty chunks of rubble. Wait, is that <laughs> the upper part of the hospital? We need to break out the heavy machinery for this one. Do we hurry it up a bit? There is still a risk of injury to my staff and patient here. Yeah, yeah, I want it. Just need to call my college. We need to fix this as soon as possible. You over there. When can we expect this to be cleared up? Cleared up? I don't know, but no clearing up. I'm just here to assess the damage. <sighs> Why are you here? Rudy? What are you doing here? What? I'm not Rudy, I'm Ollie. Oh, sorry. What are you doing here, Ollie? You should be in bed. I just wanted to see what's going on. Take a look at this stuff. It's sick. All the same. You're still contagious. Okay, okay. Can I tell you a secret first? Okay, what? I'm not Ollie. <laughs> well, it sucks to be you. I know that for the first. And I'll get already. Because Oli has uh has no bang, not bang, uh jambul, tidak berjambul. Yeah, that's a relief. Nothing happened to the snack machine. Then again, I think we'll probably outlast all of us even this building. And this content will be preserved forever. The last record of life in this planet. Hey, did I stutter? There's a general meeting in the cafeteria. I'm going in. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Take all the way. Yeah. So the next part is to cafeteria, so I can still check another thing first. <coughs> oh. Good morning, Mr. Gandawa. I think it's another bug. The dialogue is not popping up somehow even though there's already a patch note about that thing being fixed but i think not all of them is fixed yet <clears throat> guess i might play this again later off stream just to check out <clears throat> English said I should go to the cafeteria, okay. So that means I can't go anywhere else before getting into the cafeteria. Okay. Everyone is here. I've never had a meeting here. Must be something important. I hope the patients are alright. Do you know what's going on here? Nope. Not a clue. The whole time I've been here, we've only had one general meeting before. And that was about the missing leg. The what? Ah, oh, funny story. Surgery screw up. Cut off a patient's leg. Nasty, but a normal operation. What was the problem? It was the wrong one. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> By the time they realize it, By the time they realize it has already been taken away for disposal. Nurse got there just before it was thrown in the garbage. They managed to reattach it, but the healing process was no fun. 
and the whole thing cost the hospital a fortune. Ever since then, we marked the left and right limbs with a left pen before every operation. With a felt pen. A simple solution, but it prevents expensive mistakes. Oof. Yep. So, never forget to mark the part you want to operate. Oh dear me. I wish I was back in my lab. I don't have all day. I have Dr. Tilbal has a good reason for all this. What did you make of Mr. Hendrich's announcement? What about you? What what do you want us to make it? Yeah, what? We're never in the building anyway. Even if the roof caved in, we'll be alright. Exactly. <laughs> felt pen. What did I just say? <laughs> I don't think I said felt pen, but another thing. <laughs> my 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 mind slipped away that time. Driving ambulances, that's our job, and that's how we like it. Full throttle. What's all this? I can't work under this condition. My first customer will be here in any minute. Oh, Mia. <clears throat> hey, you're already here. Yeah, my shopping didn't take too long. And then I got the bus straight here. Any idea why we've all been called here? I think it's about the damage from the storm. Did you see the huge chunks of rubble lying around outside? Yeah, you think that's what? That's why they've got us all together, I guess. <laughs> Do they want us to clear the rubble away together? Perhaps. Hopefully, that's the worst. That what's happened. Maybe the building is unstable. If that was true, <coughs> don't you think we'd be having this meeting outside? You're right there. I guess, again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Oh, I think it's starting. I haven't talked to Greg. I've already had a bit. I've got a really bad feeling about this. <clears throat> oh, I'm sure it won't be too bad. You don't change it, Finley. Let's get nearer to the front. Nice to see you, Mr. Glendower. Are you doing okay? Same as always. Don't ask stupid questions. I just made myself fresh coffee. If the seeds don't hurry things up, I'll be cold again before I get to it. Y you just drain it all right away, I guess. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming. I realize we're all very busy, so I'll be brief. I'll be brief. First of all, you'll notice that Dr. Fievel isn't joining us for this meeting. There's been a lot going on today, and our chief physician has a few matters to attend to. As such, I'll be speaking on his behalf today. As you may have noticed, certain Irregularities, as you have might notice, certain irregularities occurred in the hospital building last night. I understand there is some concern. However, I would like to take this opportunity to assure you that the damage does not pose a danger to either the building or the people therein. I've already received an assessment, and the damage is only superficial, so it's not all that bad, right? Nevertheless, this incident will once again draw the eyes and ears to us. Saint Ursula has come under repeated criticism in recent months. This incident, small as it is, will stroke our critics' fires. With that in mind, on behalf of Saint Ursula, I would ask you expressly, if a person or a member of the press asks you about the damage, please refrain from making any statements and come straight to us. In such time, clear and unambiguous communication with the wider porcupine community is essential. We will be happy to answer any question you have at any time. But for now, 
Let's get back to work. I've taken up enough of your time today already. Time that should be dedicated to our favorite patients. Thank you. Everybody, have a great day, okay? That's some kind of bullshit official statement are usually done playing the actual part of everything happening here, usually. And knowing what the theme of this game is about, that would end up really bad. I can guess that. What do you think? Make what do you make of all this for? What a lot of nonsense. Yep, that's right. Carl really get it. A lot of fuss about nothing. And now we've got even more work and useful to catch up on. I'll see you upstairs, kid. Hmm. Are you okay, Mia? I don't quite understand the announcement. It's not like the storm was the hospital's fault. We should start our shift. Our poor patient will be waiting for us. Yeah, it's... The storm is not the hospital's fault, but... The hospital's... Being... Destroyed... Should be someone's fault for not managing it properly, right? No, wait, this is a healthcare facility. Someone should take care of it properly. So it can function well under any kind of situation, right? Hey there, kid. I had a good money on you getting knocked out by the roof, by a roof tile or something, because you're getting better at this. I'm gonna have to stop you there too. You can't go up the ward just yet. What? How come? General meeting. Management wants all the staff gathered in the cafeteria. Wait, is this repeated again? I think it's. I think it's repeated again. Okay, another bug, I guess. This is. Terserah saya mau jalan di mana. Tidak ada yang melarang. Hahaha. <laughs> anyway, let's check out every single part of this area. Never mind, I can't go there. Okay. Can I go here? Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay, we see all of them. Okay. Since everyone in this area is currently unavailable not unavailable what was again uh it's currently not in the duty duty of the area of the ward or something i can't go here why can't why can't i go to the first floor but not the second one Nor the fourth one, or neither the fifth one. Sure, but that's only get us left to the third floor, our own board. Stop standing in my light, Pips Quick. Can I help you? I sincerely doubt it. Where is Dr. Tubal? Dr. Tubal doesn't work on this board anymore. He's our chief physician now. 
baloney. I've been waiting for him all morning. I'll bet he's late again. That will be just like him. Bunch of good for nothing, the lot of you. Till but you know what? Since he's actually a roster, calling him Walt would be kinda inappropriate. Hey, hey, Dr. Krakowski, long time to see you. But I want to check out here first. So, we are going to work now. Dr. Krakowski, there you are. Where else would I be? I don't run this world after all. Well, I don't see you at the general meeting. No meeting is bothered enough to leave our patient unattended. Fair point. I already spoke to Dr. Theobald about this morning. So I know what's happening, and I would ask you to comply with the instruction of the management. We need to do our part to ensure that everyone here can work, can do their work in peace. Speaking of war, I've updated your file. I wish you a productive shift. I hope there was no sirens job. Please, no sirens job. And that one, and that one. No. Good God, there is sirens job. Okay. Better be. Uh, only, only getting a syringe. Rudy getting a. Oh, you don't know about the syringe. I'll let you see. <laughs> hey, Rudy, how are you doing today? It was a self-inflicted poison food poisoning thing. I'm feeling better. But I almost drew up again when the hospital started shaking last night. Can you keep it down, please? My head. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, they are self-inflicting poison on each other. Uh, so for the summary, these two patients found uh, some kind of... Uh, what was it again? Juice. Old juice. Apple juice, actually old apple juice but they call it champagne for some reason it's really old that it gets quite moldy actually but they have a dare to drink it for one of them and then they end up here getting poisoned it's just yellow because of because i'm fit and healthy again i'm telling you it was like an earthquake. When the roof came down, everyone jumped out of their bed to see what was going on. It was sick. I bet it's, I bet it's good thing you're not sick anymore. Totally. <laughs> I even had breakfast this morning. That sounds good. Still, take it easy and stay on your bed, okay? Sure. It's just like so boring here. I want to sleep. Alright. Let's take a look at your readings. I think we can adjust your medication already. Awesome. What is it again? Oh, it's the medication, okay. It's easy. It's easy easy. Oh god. Never mind. So, this what this? Five, right? Uh, bigger, but you know. Right. 
Hey, nice. <clears throat> You've got the bacteria under control. We'll give you some medication. But I think you can go home tomorrow. You're not infectious anymore either. If you can keep yourself out of the trouble for a few weeks, you'll be back in full health in no time. Yeah, I'm way stronger than that stupid she killer. Did you hear that, Oli? I won again. <laughs> Leave me alone, okay? I'll take a look at Oli. Take it easy, and try to get some more sleep. On it. Then you got a syringe. Is everything okay? I feel... So sick. Can't keep anything down. My head and stomach hurt so bad. You don't sound too good. I'll give you the same shot I gave you yesterday, okay? Oh, they, they are different they are different person. The one the one that just I gave the medication have jambul ke atas and this one doesn't have jambul and just have like jamet hair that's going down the eye. That's the difference between the two of them. You should get the seagull effect under control. Sure, do what you can. And here you will see how difficult it is to get a syringe done properly. Oh yeah, I think it's here. Let's see, is there another area I can chap chap? I think that's the only one. This one is here. Okay. Oh, now you're wiggling. It's getting harder. Ah, dang. Done. I guess it's another B. Wait. Is it already A or B? I didn't see that. Everything hurts. It's not like your seagull hasn't died down yet. Your body's still fighting it. Ouch. Come on. Don't be so dramatic about it, Oli Nether. Oli? He's not being dramatic. Your brother needs to stay here until he's really improved. But... Get some rest, Oli. Try to sleep. Try to sleep. We'll do another checkup later, okay? Okay. Wait, oh, how? How's? How's our... How's our... We'll check it later. I don't know how... 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 Your brother is really not doing well, so do me a favor, no messing about it, okay? But, Oli is not in any shape for excitement right now. Okay, so long as he gets better, that's the main thing. Now we get back to Miss... Washington, I forgot her name. for you. Hello, Finley. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, thank you. A little stormy. How do you like the new room? Well, I miss the waterfall a little. But now it's raining cats and dogs in front of my windows. So that's something. <clears throat> that must have been the storm. Strange, isn't it? When the sun shining, water drips from the ceiling. <clears throat> but when the real storm comes, the building stays pretty dry. Yes, kind of ironic, isn't it? Do you know if the hospital has dust troll by any chance? Dust trolls? I don't believe I've heard of those. I'd be happy to enlighten you. If you have a moment. <coughs> sure. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Let me tell you about the stormiest night of my life. Another story time. It was a stormy fall night. The rain was coming down in a bucket. 
We had to tie everything down to stop the wind throwing it about. Little Quiliano was still at par with Gilbert. I could only hope that they were both okay. I was home alone, nailing boards to the windows. The whole house was shaking, but I secured what I could. Unfortunately, that didn't include our porcelain windmills. Though they were ugly old things, to be honest. Anyway, I made the best of it. I fired up the stove and cooked the only thing that helped on a stormy night like that. A hot cinnamon cocoa with an almond crust. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Now I want a warm drink now, since it's kinda cold for some reason. I curled up in a blanket and settled into my favorite armchair. Then suddenly, the whole house rumbled and a bundle of twigs fell on my head. I was about to throw them in the trash when I heard this little voice. Okay. What are you doing? She wants to throw her house in trash. What's she thinking? She they shouted. The sound were coming from the twigs. There were this little creature living in a bundle. They called themselves dust trolls. They came by that name because they like to collect dust from pe from around people's homes and use it to shoe clothes and blankets. We chatted for a while. Unfortunately, their home had been damaged so they asked me to fix it. I didn't have much to do that. And the dust troll saw the broken windmill. That ugly thing? I asked. But the trolls like it. <clears throat> so I glued the pieces back together and set it up in the hallway. The troll were beside themselves. They partied all night. Right on until the storm had passed. And guess what? Since that night, I've never needed to dust again. The dust troll have done it for me. I even decided to buy a second windmill and put it at Gilbert's. It saved me a lot of times over the year. All which I spent happily in my armchair. Wrap up in a blanket with hot cinnamon cocoa. There's nothing better. <coughs> Let's see if any dust troll wants to move in with me. That'd be huge help. Well, I'm afraid I don't know exactly how one goes about getting them to move into a house. It seems to just happen. Do you think Gregor Glendower knows about this? Yes, I know he does, in fact. It was his favorite story when he was young. <laughs> Shall we take a look at your lungs? I was hoping my story would captivate you enough to make you forget the work. But I can see there's no getting around it. <coughs> I'm a little heck hausted anyway. I'd like to rest my eyes for a spell. I'll make it quick then. This is, I think this is the fun part for me. This is a rhythm game, yeah. Oh, now there is another button to push. Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad, see? Dang. I'm sorry, that didn't help you with a further diagnosis. Maybe you'll feel better tomorrow, Irma. Should I restart it? I, I, I. That's really bad, you know. We need to drink a lot. Your mocha spin brain can defend themselves against the bacteria. Can I? Can I? Can I start it? Let's check it out. I, I, I don't like the result of that. Oh, 
why can't this not get fine? How far do I go back? That's the question. Oh, it's here. Okay. So that means I need to redo everything. Okay. Let's redo everything for now. I, I don't like the results. His brother and he's doing it around here. Oh, I got eight. Nice. That's actually better than I thought. Start the story again. But I won't read the narrative again because my throat. But that's a really interesting story actually. It's like a a fairy that help us cleaning up things in our house. And that really is a convenient one. We just need to give them housing and then they will help clean our house up. better now ok 
Okay, nice. This is better than I thought. The runes are stable, but the inflammation is still here. <coughs> Bad runes is the order of the day or now, okay? Not the antibiotic to their job. Well, I'd rather keep moving. I know, but please try for me. And you, and you need to drink a lot. Okay. Stay the same thing. Okay. You've had a rough night. Try to get some sleep. Must my son be in to visit? I lie down straight away, I promise. <coughs> it seems he didn't manage to come by yesterday. I'm sure he'll be here soon. And don't worry, you'll be back on your feet in no time. Uh, knowing how the story progressed, I doubt that would be the case. But let's uh, just hope for the best for her. <coughs> And we're back. Let's talk to Mr. Kowski. All done. Excellent. Right. Let's see. Yeah. All A. We got S. Nice. Thank you, Finley. No problem. The work goes much easier when the, the weather is so bad. Take care, Finley. You must have sense how tense the atmosphere is here. Sometimes the weather is reflection of people's mood. What are your thoughts on this situation? That's no concern of yours at the moment. I'm going to get a cup of tea. Just be on your toes, more so than usual. Will do. Thanks for the hair up. Hmm? It's really cold. Now what to do? Nothing. Can I do something? Is it time for lunch? <coughs> Let's check. can go to the elevator, that means I can go to the other area. I can go to the... You're still here. Are you looking for something? No, I thought I'd keep you company for a little longer. So friendly. Would you mind answering a few questions for me? As a senior physician, and your immediate supervisor, I suspect I have certain obligation to do so. You may ask, you may ask me a question. What? What do you want to know? Just one. That's rather a personal question. But given the current mood, I suppose it can't hurt to open up a little. Might help to relax the atmosphere. <laughs> when I graduated high school, I received a scholarship to study medicine. I had to move to a new country, learn a new language. My family used up all their savvy to support me. I was one of the best in my class, and was awarded by my PhD just a few years later. I originally wanted to work in a large specialist clinic. I wanted to be really involved in the exploration of non-invasive treatment methods. Every clinic wants me. Why don't you do it? Strictly speaking, that's the second question. But I'll allow it. I had a professor and mentor who inspired me a lot at this at the time. His name was Dr. Hugo Theobald. He offered me a job as a junior doctor on his ward. That was back when it was on the fifth floor, and when he became chief physician, he was happy to offer me his position. That was a surprisingly deep insight. Thank you. Don't get used to it. You still have a lot to learn, Finley. You keep so keep your eyes on the ball. 
And now, let's not enjoy a few minutes of peace. See you tomorrow. Uh, what ball do you actually mean here? Because I don't see any balls. <coughs> no pun intended. Uh -huh. Anyway, let's continue. Checking out the other places. <clears throat> what was waiting for us? Of course, I cannot check out this place. Though I can check out that place. But apparently, the game won't allow me. Even this one. So I guess even this one is not accessible, right? So that means I might go to the cafeteria to get some meals. Unless something's happening. I check Ingrid first. Good night. Is that it? No anecdotes? No white scratch? No nothing? Too bad kid, I'm tired. Oh, well, break time then, Ingrid. Oh wait, this is actually not break time, but we are going home. Huh, you can see a murmur of people working in the cafeteria. Not a murmur, some kind of noises. Murmur is the voice of people, I think. Not people, like a uh, whistling sound or something like that. Like a uh, whispering. I should see. I should see. The, uh. Yeah, something like that. No. So what I mean, this sound here is not a murmur. Well, it's night. Of course, it's dark. Change our clothes. So, which way should we go back? Oh, there you are. Have you been waiting for me? Yes. Mia and I have been speaking. There's really weird vibe here today. We want to go over the Gilberts and talk it over. Oh, I'd love to come. Thanks for waiting. No problem. Let's get moving. It's already pretty chill out. Let's go, not to the Gilbert. Your power is already kemarin. Karena literally shift malam. Jadi ngeronda. Oh, never mind. I cannot go there so that means I should go to the Gilberts directly Yomawari Nike with Brian oh can I go oh, here can yeah can yeah yeah no, I cannot continue game. Yeah. Why is it always me ended up clearing up these mazes? Mr. Kendower, you need help. Help? No, thank you. It'll only take longer if you try to help. Well, they're still here. No wonder it must be pretty heavy. But I bet Mr. Hydris isn't happy about it. Why are you here? Ah! It's all going down the red drain. That's all. Why are you out there? Yep, no. Please get back to your work. It's not safe.
Ah, we're taking different path. Oh, it's open now. Hello. Hey, you there, tree. Can I get you a coffee? Not for me, thanks. What about you two? I'm more in the mood for a beer. And I'm afraid I'm not be I've not been sleeping well the last few days. I think I need to give up coffee. Oh, well, what a shot. Come again, come by again sometimes. I have the best coffee in the party, you know, for the time. So he's selling coffee. Might help one day. I don't know. It's almost winter, right? Oh, look at that. The sign is back now. Do I see anyone? Familiar of it? No. So let's get into the bar. Saatnya menggosip kerja, kawan-kawan. Sorry. I hit my desk. Because I need to adjust my sleeping position. Ooh, looks comfy. Who are you? Greetings, space explorers. It's all? Okay. There's in here. Okay. The buzzing there is a lot of things explorable here, so I think we will be able to do something around here later. So let's just start the HIPAA session in the bar. Hey you three, you're all so. Hey Guiliano, we need a drink stack. It's been my pleasure. Sit down, warm yourself up. There's a free table back there. We'll take that one. No problem. What can I get you? I'd like. Hmm. Surprise me. That's what I'm hoping you'd say. <laughs> sure, coming with that. Make yourself at home. I'll bring it over. Hmm, that's the stuff. How do you like your drink, Finley? Oh, it's great. That's what I like to hear. So, what do you think? About today, I mean. We don't normally have general meeting like that. Only when something's really important happens. Like when a person or a body part disappear. Or if someone loses the key to the medicine storeroom. Those were just made up example, right? Anyway, it's an old building. Bits fall off now and then. One year, we had so much snow. We thought the roof was going to cave in. What did you do? Nothing at all at first. We were one. We were one. We were on call. If it were gotten worse, we'd have evacuated the hospital. There's a contingency plan for things like this. What was that? We'd have driven everyone over the school gym hall. Why there? It's big. It's empty. Plenty of power outlets. With access for the ambulance. So why call a general meeting over a bit of rubber? The roof, the roof is still intact. And this kind of thing happens in a storm sometimes. 
It's getting more and more common, especially in recent years. Maybe you should ask the other field about it. Yeah, you could do that. Sip rules. Oh. What the heck happened there? We are sitting. Uh, the, the dog the dog just get past us. Also the frog. Get a lot of this, Patrick. That's our table. What are these losers doing here? I was about to ask the same thing, Ralph. Disrespectful, you ask me. You said it. I know you three goons. You work over at that hospital, right? Oh, little Carl is back again. Still recovering from our little... From our last little chat, huh? What do you want? We want an apology. An apology? That's right. Patrick had an accident a few weeks ago. Got hit by some stupid woman bus driver. Oh my god. If I didn't have such quick reflex, it would be stone dead right now. We're sorry. Not like you got lucky. It could have been a lot worse. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Tell him, Patrick. Well, I didn't care to wake completely as catch, of course. I had a deep wound around my arm. It needs stitches. But instead of treating it properly, the hospital just stitched it up and sent me straight back home. Two days later, it was like it was on fire. You can't imagine the pain. I had to take antibiotics. I can still feel it now. Yeah, and that's your fault. You bungler. Well, we are very sorry of course. But these things happen. We weren't the ones who treated you. We don't want the surgery. Believe us, we do our best for every sick or injured person that comes to us. And so do the stuff in surgery. Complication can happen. It's not ideal, but it's not that uncommon either. Ha! You hear that, Ralph? She admits it. It's their fault. You're chronically handicapped. What? But I... You're not listening, right, Ralph? <clears throat> Alright, yeah, no, I am the liar. You would say that. <coughs> I'll tell you what. We should shut that place down. <coughs> Throw all those idiots out. And tear the whole top down. If you aren't all so lousy at your job, my wife wouldn't have been dead for the past five years. <coughs> and now you're messing with my best friend too. And like that's not even enough, you get to pocket all the insurance money as well. Well, we were off our butts off the day after day. You know, this is a harsh truth of people having bad experience in healthcare facility. Yeah, I can relate to that, at least from the healthcare facility side. Watch out! Can't take little criticism. Do you choke on your silver tongue? I know a good hospital for that. But it ain't in this town. Ha ah, ha ha! Good one, Rick Blackberry. I'm sorry. Hey, look! This is kind of some dust talk after all. What did you say? Say it again! It's real loud in here, don't you think? I'm sorry about what happened to your wife, but this two didn't have anything to do with it. You know that. <clears throat> but what you don't know is how hard we try. Every day, every night, sometimes we don't even get changed to sleep. <clears throat> so come on, let us enjoy just one night out together, okay? Well, I accept your apology. 
but that still doesn't make up for the damage done to my friend. Let's see now. How about you pay our debt for a year? That should cover it. You just won't let it go, will you? Maybe I you should give you a smack in the mouth. Wouldn't be the first time. Just try it, wise guy. Oh, done. Don't be stupid. <coughs> Ooh. You must be the boss around here. Bet you like ordering a lot fault around, huh? That's it. Time to crack some skulls. Please, Carl. <laughs> you need to chill. <coughs> You're not letting him get away with that time, with that time to wipe that green overall face. Each fighter can attack once per round. Use an attack and let them have it. Keep an eye on your health point and magic point. Press. Why is it becoming? Heavy attack. Stuns enemy. Regenerates HP. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I cannot cancel it. Okay, then. Why do you have Anastasi? Why do you have Anastasi on your hand? Oh my god. That's a really questionable thing to have for someone outside the hospital, you know. Generates HP. Oh, okay. Now it works. This is weird. Now we have police coming. Oh my god, Carl. You really are a troublemaker. Ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, you plus, be careful. Can't you see my body's hurt? That's right, gravely injured. Ouch. This is ridiculous. Just look at this too. There's nothing wrong with them. Look at me. Don't see me complaining, do you? You want me to calm down? Did you hear the way that jerk was talking about us? I know, I'm angry too. But we're only playing into his hand if it's our fight now. Urgh. Ah! Breathe, Carl. 
feather feather let's call it a nine it's probably better if we if we all go to bed see you tomorrow yeah sleep well and Carl you need to put some eyes on that yeah yeah <laughs> why play Bian? Why are you talking it's like Pelbian when you're saying that name about fighting game? And it's also turn based, oh my god, it is an RPG. It's split. Uh, <laughs> okay. I think I'm missing something there. Why oh, you're still here? Oh my god. Hey bro, you're still set on out here? In this weather? Wait. Still the same the same uh conversation. Yeah, it's about this tomato sandwich. I think this game needs some fixes. I'm pretty sure of it all. There are all frogs has to teach it. Wait, why do I have I got the achievement now? Not before. Since I got the same uh the same conversation as this morning. This game does really some fixes. Really need some fixes because of all these quote unquote features. Can't wait a little bit. Sleep. Boy. That is all I think. Yeah, it's easy. Anyway, somehow I am quite tired tonight and I think I can only manage to get that far for now. So I think I will end it now for now tonight. I want to get some more rest since somehow for this whole week I can't really get uh, to sit properly somehow. I got some problem sleeping so it's kind of I'm tired 24 7 for this whole whole week you know yeah that's all for tonight I call it a day since it's actually a day for the game anyway thank you for watching see you again I think tomorrow I will continue again just like the usual morning stream at weekend yeah Okay, that's all. See you later. Bye.